Good morning, folks. There's a new sky survey and some space weather health points that require one to read around in a circle and into the past, connecting dots of known science. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding yet another calm day on our star. Earth-facing region of the sun has been completely silent. However, there was a brief solar flare detected yesterday, spiked just before the new day. It didn't come from the departing active region, but a new one, north on the left side, the bright crackling. It gave the minor x-ray boost, but there don't even appear to be much in the way of umbra down at the surface. This continuum view shows what the Earth-facing quiet did to the departing sunspots as well. Solar wind here. We can say that the latest coronal hole stream has missed Earth. No intensifications, and so we look to the star right now and see dark black center disk. But it may not be leaving the corona. Use the coronal pink hue outside of the sun circle to see where the coronal holes are actually carving out faster solar wind streams, and how that may not be true over center disk, despite the apparent void of particles looking head on. Quick weather note, Africa, the equator. A hailstorm ripped through Mwanza, sending multiple people to the hospital, destroying dozens of homes and hectares of crop. We've got a new release of the interstellar nebula kind. It's from a large collaboration of organizations attempting to map the full sky distribution, which could provide insight into everything from galactic filament structure to the rotation problem dynamics to any potential outside source feeding energy or particles to the galaxy. Folks, back in 2016, NASA released information about how space exposure can affect your sleep cycles. In a recent Heart article, the circadian rhythms were shown to be able to be disrupted by solar storms. Well, this morning, we can report that not only has cancer long been known to affect circadian rhythms as well, but it is actually required for tumor survival because that process maintains our health in so many ways, which means that during solar storm circadian disruption, one of our natural cancer defenses is down. Anytime the sun does something, especially when it's related to our health, the Disaster Prediction app sends out the alerts. You can learn more about that in the latter chapters of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Coming up, we've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.